Hello Morales community, my name is Joseph and I am your Web3 instructor. In this video, we will go through the Get Token metadata by Symbols endpoint, which is part of the Morales token API. Now this endpoint can be very handy because you can put a symbol into an input field and get all the metadata from all the tokens that match that symbol in one single request. Now before I show you the code and before we go through the documentation, let's jump into the application so I can demonstrate that to you. So I've prepared this with Node.js for the backend server and Next.js for the frontend. And let's try this one out with link. This is capital sensitive, so that's why I have capital letters. Uh, choose Ethereum, hit submit, and there we have some data about this symbol. Now, some of them have logos or thumbnail, and we want to display those. If not, that's fine. Then we just display the name and the symbol itself. So, how can we do this? Let's go through the documentation. And here we have uh, the symbols uh, parameter that is required for us to use. Now, what's good about this is you don't only need to use one like this. You can actually use multiple symbols, let's say uni, and then if we can, if we try it on the right side right here, we can see that we get metadata about different symbols. So we have uni up here above that, we have link and so on. So this can be very handy because you can get lots of different metadata in one single request. Then as in most of the API endpoints, we have the chain parameters parameter that's not required. Uh, by default, it's Ethereum. Then you also have subdomain, which is good if you have local dev chain as a chain. Now, Morales is very backend heavy, so you don't need to use Node.js. You can choose your own preferred language from up top or from this drop down menu. Now, we're going to use Node and the Morales Node.js SDK. So, if that's interesting enough, let's jump into Visual Studio Code and I will show you the code. So now in Visual Studio Code, I have created a root folder called Get Metadata by Symbol. And within that one, I have two other folders, one for the front end and one for the back end. Let's start with the back end and with package.json because we have four dependencies that we're going to install. We're going to install course.env, express, and morales. And we're going to use these dependencies inside the index.js file. So we require Express and we're firing up a server on port 5001. You can use the same port or choose another available one on your machine. Now we require Morales and Course as well. And then we also need to require .env. And we need to require .env because we don't want to put our API key up front. We want to keep this a little bit more private. So if you don't have an API key, first let's go to morales.io. And in here, click on start for free button and make sure you create your free account and log into that one. Now, once you have done that, go to Web3 APIs to find your private API key. Copy this one, go back to the code and create a .env file on the root of backend. Now in here, I have decided to uh, call my variable for Morales API key, you can do the same if you want to, and then just paste that API key in there. Now that's it, close this file, go back to index.js, and now we can get that variable by using this keyword process.env and then the variable name. Now I've decided to have the same name over here, but you don't have to do that, just for convenience. And then on the bottom of this file, we firing up Morales with the start function and passing that API key as a parameter. And at the same time, we're listening to the port. So that means our server is up and running. Now on this backend side, we have created one endpoint, which is a slash symbol one. And inside this one, we use the EVM API and the get token metadata by symbol endpoint that Morales provides us. Now, in order to use this endpoint, we need to pass along two parameters. It's the symbols and the chain. And in our case, we're getting these two from the front end. So let, let's go to the front end folder right here and see how we're passing everything back to the back end. 
So I will close this one down and even this folder right here. And we can go to the front end and start with a package JSON as well because we're going to install Axios and React Select. Now, once we've done that, we can check out the index.js page because this is our home page. And in here, we're rendering two components, header and main. So the header is pretty simple. It's the logo and the title itself. And main is where everything is happening. So let's go into that one. Now we import, we are importing Axios and React Select. React Select lets us create beautiful and easy drop-down menus. In our case, we have two value, three values actually. We have Ethereum, Guerli, and Mumbai. And each of these uh, three labels have its own value, which is their respective chain IDs. Then we also add some styling to the drop-down. Now, what we need for this application, though, is we need to store some values. First of all, we want to show the results, but we don't want to do that once before the user has clicked the submit button. So that's why this show result variable is set to false. Then we have the actual result itself, and we set that to an empty array. We have the chain value, and that's an empty string. And then we also have the symbol, which is an array, because we can input multiple symbols into our input field. Now, once you hit the drop down menu and choose your chain, that's when we're updating this value right here by this change handler. And once you hit submit, that's when we run this handle submit function. So our input field has an ID of symbol and that makes it very easy for us to capture that value by query select that ID and then extracting that value and pushing it into the symbol array. Now, the chain value itself is not only the value right here, but it's also the label. And we're interested in the chain ID, which is the value. And that's why we can do this to extract that value and store it into chain. Now we're going to do an Axios request to our backend server, which is on port 5001 slash symbol because that's the endpoint and here is where we are sending these parameters back to the backend so that is symbol and chain which is the ones we defined right here now once the, our backend server gets a response back from the morales api we just send that response to the front end and i have console logged it as it is just to show you how it looks like so let's go back to our application and open inspector console. There we can see that the data right here looks exactly like it did in the documentation. So we have these values right here that we can use. In our case, we're taking out the thumbnail right here, the name and the symbol, and that's what we are displaying. So it doesn't be, has to be much harder than that. So let's go back and store the response.data in our result variable. Now we're setting show results to true and we want to empty our input field and our drop down menu. Now in the return, that's where we are rendering everything. So we have the form and then we also have the submit button right here. But even more interestingly, we have the result section that we want to go through. So if you remember on the top, where we declared this show result and the result, that was an array. So that means we can map through that and go through each and every value in there. So for each and every value, we want to create a section with the image, which is the thumbnail. We want to create two para paragraphs, one being the name and one being the symbol. Now I have added some styling to this and I will share the GitHub repo with all this code. If you want to have the same styling or just take another look at the code and see what's happening by your own pace. So I'm going to share that GitHub link below this video. Now let's go back to the application and demonstrate that once again, I'm going to close this inspector console. Uh, this time let's use uni, choose Ethereum. And there we have some more values. You can do the same. You can use ETH, for example, hit submit, and then you get these values instead. So it's very easy to adapt the results that you want and what you want to display. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel because we share a lot of similar Web3 videos using the Morales API. I hope I will see you in the next one.